Hello all, so this is going to be a quick three minute video just walking you through how we use point cloud data to model out new pipe runs. This is a technique that we have been showing our customers as part of our accessibility of using point cloud data. So we're just looking at the, the, the area in question, just a single tank uh, feeding a couple of pumps and we're going to have a go at trying to run a new pipe from uh, an existing connection. So this is me just cropping out the data first. We now come on to modeling out the existing pipe work to allow us to tie uh, a new pipe we're in. So we're just identifying the pipe within the point cloud data, adding in the 4 inch pipe and a weld net flange, which we can tie into later. Okay, so the, the fun section, so we get to run the new pipe run. So I'm going to tie into that existing weld net flange, put the ball valve in first uh, for isolation, automatically put in its gaskets and its, its bolt set. And we're going to run the new pipe run across uh, at this point i've realized I've gone straight through the middle of a cable tray so i'm just deleting out the pipe and i'm going to put a little jump in i appreciate it's probably not the best path to take to uh, put in a new pipe run but it gives you a real indication of how much you can do within the system and with the point cloud data it, it just gives you the full picture of what is going on inside that site and and it just gives you an idea of what you're going to be able to hit and what you want to stay away from more to the point so I'm literally just dragging components out of that uh, tool palette and just dropping them straight on top of the pipe and it's automatically billing up that bill of materials for us. So I'm now going to take uh, the pipe supports and start putting them in. Probably one too many in there, but you get the point. Um, and even with these pipe supports, I can take into account the, 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 the height of the ground in relationship to everything else. So I know exactly where, where how high they need to be. Okay, so we finally come on to the isometrics. So before I can actually export an isometric, I have to give it a line number, which is what I'm doing here. Um, but once we've done that, we can go to the uh, the isometric export dialog and um, set exactly how we want it. But all the isometrics could be set up with your boulders, nomenclatures, layers, and colors and whatnot. And one other interesting thing uh, is that you can export a PCF file format, which allows you to use it in C2 for pipe stress analysis. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for your time.